Anthony Cunningham, Galway manager, you're facing the media tonight. One of the necessary evils, I suppose. I'm just wondering, though, you seem in good form tonight. Are you more relaxed than you were for the final? You know, has the final, the draw rather, helped you for the replay? Well, we'd hope we'd, we'd have a huge earning experience from the, from the first day. Um, but we were, we were always pretty relaxed, really. Um, we always want to take what we did poorly the last day and improve, and then we, you know, to take what we did well the last day and build on that. And, you know, it's no different from Kilkenny or from Galway, and uh, that's what we always try and do. But, uh, yeah, we're well set, we're training hard, and we've had great focus on the players since we uh, had the drawing game, and that's, that has really uh, helped us along the way. You didn't have the experience of playing in an All-Ireland final before. I'm just wondering, as a player, what was it like and what did you learn from it? Oh, it's a huge occasion, you know. It's obviously, as a player, you don't get too wrapped up in the festivities that go around it. You know, your focus is on playing. But uh, when you look back on it, you know, it is a huge day out. It, it, is, it is enjoyable afterwards, but only if the result is right. So, as a player, ultimately, you know, what you remember from it is focus and uh, relief from the last day and hopefully joy the next day. When you mentioned focus... First 20 minutes of the second half, what were you thinking? Were you thinking, how on earth do we get back into this game? Ah, you know, we knew they were going to come back at us strong. They're the All-Ireland champions and they're not going to give their title away very easily. So um, they were always going to come back and come back strong at us. And uh, it was just a matter of hanging in the game, really. And uh, unfortunately, we had a couple of shots of goal that we missed uh, at the start of the second half that probably would have steadied the ship first. But, uh, you know, we hung, on, hung in there. We fought till the last ball and uh, ultimately we got the draw. Matty Kenny, as coach from the last day, what's been your job or have you been able to do that much coaching or what's it about at this point? We've got to make sure as, as the second half uh, wears on you that, you know, that we are used to the ball. It's all about use to the ball, ball retention, ball retention, ball retention. That as, as we're coming out of the defence, you know, that we try to link that play together, that we you know, play with our heads up, you know, that we, we show that bit of composure and uh, we find a guy in a better, better position. You know, and uh, that, you know, that we just don't clear it, hit it down the other end of the field for, for the sake of doing so. And you know, the last day, like, you know, the likes of Brian Hogan and these guys powered into the second half. The, the, the one clean possession and, and put it on the back foot again straight away like you know and Kilkenny really really you know the, the, we allow them dominate that and you know we we we, we are you the ball ball up, up up into our attack like has to improve like absolutely I think uh, that was the last day we were disappointed with that that's for sure and we made gods out of the Kilkenny defenders really and some of the players and uh, you can't do that against Kilkenny they're, they're tremendous play, defenders and uh, we just have to be very very careful on that a lot of people thought Kilkenny were invincible, but not only did you beat them well, you then avoided defeat the second time. So there must be no air of invincibility in the minds of the Galway players. Uh, I mean, from our players' perspective, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to focus on making sure that our game is as healthy as it can be. And, you know, we cannot influence Kilkenny's approach or, or, or indeed the way they play on the particular day beyond, you know, what we bring to the table. And, you know, what we're trying to bring is, is energy, work rate, speed, you know, fast ball, uh, open play and obviously high scoring. And those attributes, I think, serve up a, a good combination for us in terms of the kind of the player, the players that we have and, and the profile of, of those guys. And, you know, that's the game plan we've set out for ourselves. And, and so far, this campaign is working for us well. You know, we're shooting good scores and, you know, we're managing to make life awkward now for some of the stronger teams, including Kilkenny. But you know you can beat them, or more importantly, you haven't lost to them. Very important. We're unbeaten in the campaign to date, and, and that's a huge milestone for us with the group of guys. And, uh, you know, equally for Kilkenny, I'm sure they're probably getting a bit frustrated at having to come back and, and go at us again, you know. Um, so that brings a new dynamic now to the, to the replay, you know, in terms of, you know, three three uh, championship meetings with them this year, the Leinster final, the, the drawn game, and, and the next day, in addition to the Walsh Cup and the league match. So, you know, we've now, this is our fifth time playing them, so there's a, there's a bit of a, uh, of a pattern emerging, and uh, thankfully we're still the right side of the pattern. Did Joe's comments stoke the fire a little bit? Did they concern you at all a little bit, or what effect did they, do you think they've had either in your camp or the Kilkenny camp? I don't think they have any significance in any of the camps, really. I mean, if you looked at the full... Or listen to the full audio of, of Joe's, uh, you know, interview. He was actually praising the leadership of Kilkenny and of Henry Shefflin, and something we want our players to become like Henry Shefflin to ha show that leadership on the pitch. And there's maybe one or two words taken out of it, which were probably a bit unfair. And you know, probably you may have used a better word from you know to, to portray the scenario that he was painting. But in the overall picture was uh, was one of admiration and of envy of the leadership that Kilkenny showed. 
I don't think so, to be honest. I can't comment on them. I didn't see them and I haven't spoken to Joe about them. But, uh, you know, the fire's all a stoke. Anyway, it's an All-Ireland final. You know, the prize is huge. It's the biggest prize on offer every year. So uh, neither team will lack for hunger or motivation. I don't think it matters what people say in the lead up to it. What it comes down to is 15 on 15 on the 30th. Uh, you know, the best team will win on the day and uh, we're training very, very hard to make sure that that's us. Are Galway people in general, have you found the fans, are they in a better place? They're happy to be here at the end of September, an extended year, if you like? Hugely. I mean, at the outset of the year, you know, there was, there was a, a, a confusing sense out there in terms of what was to lie ahead. Uh, people weren't overly inspired um, <clears throat> with the youth that we had in terms of, you know, the overload on youth. But at the end of the day, the group has gelled well. Uh, the results have started to come. We've, we've gotten to the All-Ireland final and, and obviously behaved reasonably well on the day. And I think most people who went to Crow Park uh, really enjoyed the moment, the opportunity, the game the outcome uh, and I, I think from what I know from li listening to people locally everybody's looking forward to be back there again on the 30th and uh, you know there's a scramble for tickets and accommodation and whatnot so I think people have got more than the bargain for at the outset of the year but at the end of the day you know within the group we're chasing after one thing and that's to win the, 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 the title and uh, beyond that you know uh, we're not going to be happy about the occasion we're only going to be happy about the result. Would it be fair to say that Galway fans are a little bit more hopeful than they were going into the All-Ireland Final? Perhaps more hopeful. I mean, a lot of people would have gone up there, you know, uh, optimistic that we could perform well, but but cautious that we might not indeed be able to get over the line against Kilkenny or indeed maybe uh, be, be nicely beaten by them. So I think that mindset has softened a little bit, um, you, you know, and, and people will look at it now and say, oh, well, yeah, they haven't managed to beat you or... or kick us out of Crow Park and uh, that, that I think will change people's opinion a little bit but having said that it doesn't change the facts for ourselves you know uh, we've got to go there again on the 30th and it's going to be another titanic struggle with the reigning champions to try and dethrone them and that's going to take a hum an enormous push uh, for, for whoever wants to win the title.